All right, now welcome to SC Custom Designs. It is a Wednesday, and I am in the shop, and um, I got a box today. And honestly, don't you love it when you don't know what the what you bought? I was gonna say what's a freak. What you bought? So I know over the holidays I was watching the sales, you know, and um, I picked up on some good sales. I'm looking around because there's one such unit. Uh, it's over here on the new shelf, uh, which is uh, Ryobi One Plus. Uh, and uh, so this is a buffer. And, you know, I've been looking for this a long time. I walk into the whatever it is, Lowe's or Home Depot, I don't remember. And and um, I'm looking for this thing, specifically the, the one that's wireless. And I can't find it. Christmas time? Yay! But that's not what we're unboxing because you know what? I'm not using it yet. But what I would like to unbox literally is from this box is something I picked up from MLCSWoodworking.com. Awesome, awesome company they are. They really are. Um, so apparently, I got a snake. I got a snake. <laughs> it's like a joke. <laughs> All right, folks. So, you know, aloha from Hawaii. Um, okay. <coughs> so, what did we really get? Let's slide it over here. So, we got this. All right. So, what is it? Let me make sure we're seeing what I'm saying here. Actually, this little thing. I mean, this is my bandsaw, by the way. This basically holds my phone, which is in the camera mount, and you guys are happy about that. Okay, so I just want to make sure we're seeing this. What I bought, uh, I bought three center fine rulers, three different sizes. I don't know about you, um, but I get tired of playing the game, where's the center? You know, well, I can take my phone and say, you know, what's the center of this measurement? And it'll tell me. Um, this is the first one. Look how cute that is. So it looks like he has a little thing there so you could put it in your shirt. I don't have those vests yet. I find them cumbersome, so whatever vest I find for the woodworking shop, it's got to feel like it's not even on me. I had two of them through the years. One I bought from Shopsmith many years ago. Bought a table saw from them and uh, some various other things. But so, so there you go. This is three inches in either direction. So I can very quickly put it, just put it on the stock and I can find the center just like that. Which is right there. Who doesn't want to put their mind in stupid and just do that? Okay? Especially, well, for me, anyways, math is not my friend. So, here we go. I hear some of my subscribers saying, no kidding. Hey, 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 hey. Um, so, this is a 12 inch center finding rule 12 inches. So, not. For that, for this, cool. And we have a really long one. This is 24 inches. 24 inches of find the center. Please find the center. So that's it. That's that, that's that unboxing. So um, looks like they kept it nice and protected, which is good. It's made in the U.S. as a United States citizen. Um, I'm very happy about that. Well, it seems like most products are coming right out of China. So I heard a uh, an advert the other day that said China is going to overcome the, the United States um, and basically be, be the, the provider for for products. So they're 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 doing that well, so on and so forth. Now, listen, I got nothing against China being able to produce a product at an inexpensive price. 
that's going to help me. And, um, you know, often the, the products are sent to, I don't know that this is made in China. I just said it was made in the U.S., didn't I? It says it right there. But lots of products, they coming from China. Uh, a company over here will buy them and then sell them, at least from here. So there's some profit going to the company in the United States. And like I said, I've got nothing against China um, other than if they're using, you know, rules and regulations that say, hey, you're a human being, but you're going to work 18 hours a day and get paid nothing for it, you know. So I, to a point, you know, I didn't even want to go there with this conversation, but I did um, because I read Made in the U.S. So at any rate, I try to buy uh, products made in the U.S. if at all possible. Um, you know, often the parts are made in other countries, um, such as Taiwan, such as in China and various other countries, um, and shipped here and assembled here. So there you go. All right. So there you go. Let me know what you think. How many of y'all out there have the center finding uh, rulers? Um, how, how many you don't? And hopefully watching this video uh, clued you in and you're going to go ahead and, and get some. And trust me when I tell you. Like I said, just to mindlessly be able to take this, find the center, not have to think too much about it, um, is pretty awesome as far as I'm concerned. Very short video. We are trying to keep our videos uh, short, so if you're new to the channel um, and this is the first video you saw, no big deal, right, as far as being short. But to my faithful subscribers who've been with me for many years, um, my very first videos were very, very long. As a matter of fact, I'm making this video long, talking about my videos being long. Let's say our goodbyes. Let's stay safe out there. Uh, before we say our goodbyes, we have one more product that... I want you to look forward to that we're going to be unboxing um, and it is this unit here now I'm pretty sure that's made in China uh, however it's a Pittsburgh company Pittsburgh Automotive um, I am from Pittsburgh coincidentally originally then overseas out of Israel Israel lived there as a teenager six years and went to China and all over the place did missionary work for the Lord all right so this guy is gonna be fun to unbox I've been waiting to pull the trigger on, on such a unit and it was very inexpensive um, and so I got this basically from uh, Harbor Freight which there's a local Harbor Freight but I, I got it shipped to me within days and the shipping was very inexpensive as well. So this is like a steal for me. I'll, I'll unbox it, give you the details about that. So I also uh, ordered a creeper. Apparently I'm going to be able to make jokes and say I'm a creeper now. Um, <laughs> at my age, um, I don't do a lot of work under my car, but I, I want to be able to get under my car without having to, you know, just lie down and very comfortably roll under there and look. So... Let's end the video. Let's say goodbye in five languages. Shalom v'chav v'kol chavarim shali v'arat Israel. Goodbye to all my friends in Israel. Bastalami. Inte. Goodbye you in Arabic. Totsens. See you later in Afrikaans. Tzaychen. Goodbye in Chinese. And see you later. Take care. If you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it if you do. Uh, hit the bell and you'll get reminded. Not reminded. Don't know why I say that. Uh, you'll be notified that there's a new video such as this one. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And please look down in this, the description. I will put the links for these three center, fine, center rules uh, in, in the, the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.